Am I the a-hole stories? Am I the a-hole for telling my family the truth about the things my sister has done, causing her to be shunned? This whole thing is a train wreck so please bear with me. My dad passed away in December. I was his caretaker. My sister kept promising that she would move into the house and help me take care of our dad, as he was very ill and needed to have someone with him at all times. Both his physical and mental health were deteriorating. She never helped out. It got to the point that I was severely depressed and not doing well mentally. My doctor told me I needed a break as I was suffering from caretaker fatigue, and that my mental state would only get worse without help. I begged my sister to help me with our dad because I couldn't do it alone anymore, that was roughly 6 months before he passed away. She came over once for 20 minutes to talk to him, then left with his bank card to go grocery shopping. Sure, she bought him the groceries on his list, but what she hid from him on a separate receipt, was her buying alcohol for herself on his card as well. Due to his mental state, he never noticed the extra missing money on his account. I ended up taking over my dad's finances, and keeping a budget to make sure every penny was accounted for. I also set every bill in his name up for auto pay, so he wouldn't have to fumble around with his checkbook anymore. All of this was suggested by my dad himself as he knew his mind wouldn't be there much longer and didn't want to stress over making payments on time. So skipping forward to now, I just found out that my sister not only closed his accounts, but also took all the money in his accounts before they could go through probate. My hair is literally falling out because over 8,000 is owed for bills that were supposed to be paid, and I'm scared of being kicked out of the house for nothing being paid for. My phone has been shut off twice now, and when I call the phone company for help switching my phone bill into my name, I'm told I need the proper paperwork to switch accounts. Unfortunately, my sister has the only copies of the documents I need, and when I make calls to get my own, I'm told I'm not authorized to obtain those copies. I have no idea what that means. Through this whole process, my sister has been repeatedly telling me not to tell our extended family of the passing of our father until everything has been settled. She kept telling me that she would take care of me and help me with anything I need. I told her I was running out of money and that I had no food in the house. She ghosted me and has since been ignoring my attempts at contact. I decided to no longer stay silent and told my relatives what has been going on. Everyone is pissed off with my sister now. After causing things to go nuclear, I am feeling like I'm the a-hole. Maybe I shouldn't have gone this far, but I was and still am very mad at her. Edit, my brother and I have an appointment with a lawyer on Tuesday to have this taken care of. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole, but this is above Reddit's pay grade. You need to see a lawyer. Do not go to r slash legal advice, do not pass go. Call a lawyer immediately. I forgot to add that I will be seeing a lawyer on Tuesday. I was stupid enough to believe her when she said she found a probate lawyer right after he passed away. I'm sorry you are going through this. My family went through something similar. My advice is to keep this off Reddit and just speak to that lawyer. You are doing the right thing. Not the a-hole, your sister robbed a dying man. How could you possibly be the a-hole for calling her out on her BS? If anything, you'd be the a-hole if you didn't escalate this to the police. I've been an emotional wreck this past year and I've second-guessed every decision I've made. Part of me feels guilty that she's catching so much heat, and I don't know why. Not the a-hole she is getting heat for this situation purely because of her own actions. Incredibly despicable actions I cannot imagine anyone doing I might add. She is an awful human being, and at this rate, you and your lawyer need to discuss potentially having her barred from receiving anything from your dad's estate. Truthfully. I'm so stressed out from all of this that my hair has started to fall out in large clumps. I had a panic attack last night at the thought of becoming homeless or freezing in my house because of her. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for telling my sister I don't want anything from her? I, 22 female, have an older sister, 25 female, who I have never gotten along with. Our issues come from how different we are paired with how uncaring she is about people, until there is something she wants. like. Our cousin Michelle and her never had a good relationship either, and she even slept with Michelle's boyfriend and then bragged about it to all the kids in school, college. But then when Michelle got a really good place in the city a year later, she tried to be friends with her. With me and my sister, it has always been one thing after another. As a kid, she used to tell me my bedroom was a place bad stuff happened in before we lived there, and would make up stories about that stuff to scare me. When I first started having periods, they were really heavy and she told me that was a sign I was going to die, which was why mom was taking me to the doctor. 
she embarrassed me in front of kids from school another time by telling them about a time I puked all over myself at a wedding, and even said we had photos of it, which wasn't true. Then the few times she seemed to try and be close, it was only stuff she liked. She would not let me pick or even let me order what I wanted if we ate, while we were doing whatever she wanted to do. And then she tried to sleep with my husband. He's my high school sweetheart and this was at our graduation. So, I have been done with her for a while, and I am now expecting a daughter. And ever since this was announced, she has been trying to bond, trying to get an in, and I'm not interested. She sent me a maternity dress and I sent it back to her. She wanted to go baby shopping with me and I said no. She asked me what I wanted from her, and I told her I wanted nothing from her. Then I said well, she could leave me and my family alone. She was annoyed, and said she wants to be an aunt and know her niece. I told her I didn't think that was a good idea. She told our parents and they think I'm making a mistake. They have told me I might be glad for her one day. But I don't trust her. I don't like her. I don't think she's a good person. They keep claiming she's family and that matters more than anything else. Am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole. She tried to sleep with your husband. That's all I need to read to know you should never let this woman near you or your family again. OP said it so casually lol. If someone tried that on my partner, I'd be in jail. Not the a-hole. Nope. Not the a-hole. Family that is bad does not matter. Trust your instincts and make no apologies. Gray rock your family on the subject. Not the a-hole. She is toxic. You don't need her around, and you certainly don't want to set her up as a role model for your child. If family was so important to her, she wouldn't have done all the things she's done. Not the a-hole. I have a sibling who behaves this way, and I gotta tell you, my life has been so much happier and more positive since I chopped her out of my life entirely. Blocked on everything, we live in separate towns, the works. I don't see her, and I don't ever want to. This family tried to seduce your husband. Everything else could be excusable, but that's a line family doesn't cross. Dictating what you eat is kinda narcissistic but not the end of the world. Telling lies about the history of your house to scare your siblings is sucky, but again. That's life with siblings so whatever. Telling schoolmates about the time when you puked up in public is also kinda par for the course in siblingdom. But helping yourself to someone else's spouse. Several someone's spouses, in fact. At that point it becomes a clear pattern that this person is toxic, and would just continue to escalate the behavior until something illegal happens. Not the a-hole OP, cut her out of your life. Next story. Am I the a-hole for not pretending someone was a good guy just because he died? My, 22 male, uncle, 48 male, had a habit of leering at my younger cousins, late teens slash early 20s. They're his nieces. He always initiated hugs with them, they never initiated, and when hugging them his hand just always looked a bit too low on their backs. And once I saw him staring at his niece's cleavage. On Facebook, he was always posting about how much money he made on some deal. He worked in finance. He would also post pics of him with women from his workplace, all attractive and much younger than him. It's a finance job, not a modeling gig. It's obvious he purposely only hung out with the attractive women. As far as I know, he didn't do anything more than that. Just made girls feel like this older, overweight dude is IFing them, and he never seemed to do anything in his free time that didn't put him near some younger women slash girls. It was always a girl that was 18 plus by the way. He died a couple weeks ago from diabetes and the funeral was last week. The service went smooth and the eulogy slash anyone who talked about him, mainly focused on his work accomplishments. Then people gathered around and had snacks slash drinks. I was in a group of about 7 people, including some cousins, and an uncle and aunt. The uncle and aunt were talking about how selfless he was, telling a story about how he helped people he barely knew, like my cousin's 19 year old friend, by helping her move furniture. I remember this. The girl had a house swarming and invited my cousin, her friend, and some friends over for. She told my cousin she could bring some friends. On the night of the party, my cousin told me about it, and said she wanted me to come because I was studying too hard lately. She invited me in front of some family, including the uncle, who died. The uncle invites himself over because my cousin said she could bring friends. He comes with us because no one felt like telling him no. At the party, he's the oldest one there. The host said she needed help to move furniture around and make things look better. My uncle's ears perk up and he says he has a professional interior designer friend, and he'd love to help her. He then asked, how's Saturday? I'm supposed to see her then anyway. 
You'll love my friend. She's great. She said, yeah. That works. I got the feeling like he used his female friend to make the 19-year-old feel more comfortable about him coming over. Later, I heard that after the interior designer left, he stayed back to talk with her for a long while, before she finally got the guts to say she had to go and couldn't talk to him anymore. After my, living, uncle and aunt tell the story about my, deceased, uncle helping someone he barely knew, I said, well, I mean, I think he was just trying to hit on her. Everyone gave me a shocked look, except my younger cousins. They looked like their day just brightened up because someone finally said it. Everyone else just walked away and didn't say anything. Later, my parents called me and said I was inappropriate. Am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. So many people don't speak ill of the dead, but when it's true, it's true. My mom died a while back and I watched so many people do the same as you describe, so selfless, so full of light. Yeah no, my mom was a selfish witch. She was a hardcore alcoholic who drove drunk and hurt people, she was abusive and only cared about herself, and she was found in a ditch on more than one occasion passed out drunk, but I digress. Not the a-hole because you're realistic. Sorry for ranting about my mom. Not the a-hole. I was in a similar situation with my grandfather. Funeral was just angering to those who saw his dark side. It suppressed how evil he was. But of course, it was thrown by those who didn't see or acknowledge that part of him, they only saw the good. Telling the truth about a creep, is always going to make some people unhappy, regardless of when you do it. To you, you were looking out for your cousins. They were suffering in silence. To your aunt slash uncle, you were tarnishing their memories of him. To me, the especially a holish thing in this is that, people who didn't like your uncle still had to go to his funeral slash wake. That is just keeping up appearances for those who didn't acknowledge your uncle's slimy shortcomings, or were trying to remember only the good. LOL and not the a-hole. Good on you for outing the creepy uncle, and shame on the adults that turned a blind eye. Preach. I had an uncle that was creepy. He's my aunt sex and has been out of our family for decades at this point. But, I'll always remember the family gathering where everyone was outside, I went inside to get something, and when I tried to go back outside, he was in the kitchen. I was pretty young, maybe six or seven? He told me I had done something wrong, bent me over his knee, and spanked me. Of course, I went outside crying, not understanding what I had done wrong. As an adult, I now clearly understand what had occurred. My grandmother looked at me and told me I had clearly done something wrong, or else I wouldn't have gotten a spanking. That was the end of it. This messed with me for years. I still don't tell my extended family about personal issues, and it gave me a very incorrect understanding of speaking up when something wasn't right. You have the opportunity here to change your family narrative for the better. Do not stop pointing out the truth, and if other family members do creepy stuff, or even try to protect creepy uncle, call them out. I wish just one person would have stood up for me that day. Not the a-hole. Are you sure he didn't do anything? Because it sounds like he put himself in situations with a lot of vulnerable young women. You should gently reach out to and show support for them. Yes. That should be done. You brought a great point. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for refusing to give the shop I open to my unemployed brother? My family history is a bit complicated, we are an Asian family and as such, certain things are culturally appropriate. For context, it is very much encouraged for children to stay with parents well beyond 30. This is the concept of joint family. Back to my issue, me, 30 male, moved out of my family house when I was 18 to seek opportunities and employment. I did odd jobs, worked for a while on merchant navy ships, worked in factory etc. Until I managed to get a good deal on the rented shop and established an electronic store. We are not too rich or successful but we break even and have some to spare. Anyways, in our city, new factories opened up, and as such I applied for the factory job and got a decent 9 to 5 job. My family arranged my marriage and luckily, I got a wife who also had a comfortable job in a bank. She helped me with my books and maintaining the shop, and we have achieved some limited success, and we managed to run the shop part time after work and have hired help to open it in the morning. That is when the problem started. My father believes since me and my wife are working full time, I should hand over my shop to my younger brother, 28 mil, who is unemployed and living in the family home. I objected to that statement because when I was working odd jobs, he would slouch on the cushion at home not doing anything, and sneer at me for taking small jobs. The shop I created from my own blood and sweat. 
I had borrowed money as initial investment from my father for the shop, which he reminds me time to time. I am working full time and have hired help to run the shop, a position I offered to my brother but the family insist I should give him the controlling interest, and me and my wife should not take care of the shop. I refuse to abide by this. This has not gone well with the family with my mother calling me on our festival that she will never forgive me, and my brother will never work for me. This has obviously given a lot of stress to me and my wife. She is of the opinion that I should just let it go. As we are now earning comfortably. But for me, the shop is something more than means of earning. He is unemployed and currently the shop will benefit him, but I have not seen him work my entire life, nor do I think he is capable of handling the shop on his own. What do you think wise internet? Am I the a-hole? Edit, a lot of people are asking about the money issue. The money was offered to me by my father when I was looking to pay the deposit. It is around 500 pounds which is very big amount in my country. Also, thank you for those generous to help out, but that's not what this is. I had bad credit score, because of odd jobs, but my wife is educated and has steady income. She is working out the bank loan aspect for it. I am not entirely sure how that works apart from the fact that I'll have to pay them back monthly. I have told my father brother can run the shop, but we won't give up the controlling interest and I'll be keeping close tabs on him. My wife will still continue to look at the books, which my brother doesn't like, so he won't have to deal with her, and I will keep tabs on the employee. It is up to them to take the offer. Thank you for easing my mind, as many of you have guessed I am from Southeast Asian background, and going against parents is a big deal in our community. The family insist I should give him the controlling interest. Not the a-hole. There is no evidence your brother can even handle being employed, let alone running a business. It's incredibly entitled of your family to expect you to hand over a business that has succeeded because of your hard work. Opie was kind enough to offer his brother a job too, I'd advised against even doing that. Not the a-hole. Should you also give him your wife because he's single? You worked for everything you have, it's yours to do with whatever you want. I agree. We don't live in a communist society, the rewards for the hard work OP put into running the shop, should not go to his lizzy brother. Not the a-hole. Pay back the money your father loaned you if you have not already, and he can loan it to your brother to do whatever with. That is one thing me and my wife are looking into. She believes bank will loan us the amount and we can use it to pay them back. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.